Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun plant haul to show you guys. And the reason this one is so exciting is because I have just regular plants like I picked up at Walmart and Lowe's, but I also got to go to a plant swap. So I've seen a lot of other plant swap videos on YouTube and I've heard people talk about them. And I don't live in a huge city, so I thought I was never gonna get a chance to go to one of these. But I was looking around on Google and just happened to see one in our area. So I went to my first plant swap and it was amazing. So the way this one worked is you just brought cuttings or offsets of your plants and you got little tickets for however many you brought. And then they just called out the numbers and you got to go up and pick something from the table, which I thought was a lot better than the whole like bartering with people to trade because that would have made me really nervous. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up from the swapping part. And then, of course, because it was in a plant shop, I had to buy two plants and bring them home with me. So I'm going to show you those two. And then something that always goes along with plant hauls is planters, because that's part of my favorite thing is finding the perfect pot to complement it. So and to me, that's just part of it. So I'm going to show you first. This one's just a cutting, and this will be a while before it gets potted up. So I got a cutting of Hoya Carnosa. And what did I end up taking? I took I took nine cuttings because I wasn't sure how many you're supposed to bring. So I took some Monstera adansonii. I took some Cebu Blue Pothos. I took a Haworthia offset. Uh, I took some of my goldfish plant, some of my curly lipstick plant, and a Moonshine Sansevieria pup that my mine popped up. So I took nine things in total and I ended up getting about nine things. So the next thing I'm going to show you is so cute. I picked up a Sansevieria and I'm going to show it to you right in the pot. So I picked up this Sansevieria and this was already well rooted. So this one is good to go. It's actually potted in terracotta inside of here because this pot is far too tall. It would have rotted the roots out. But I found this pot at at home and I just fell in love with it. I actually saw it, I think probably two weeks ago and I walked around the entire store with it in my cart and I didn't have anything in mind. I just knew that I liked it. So I put it back, and then when I got this Sansevieria, I was like, you know what's going to go perfect with this? That face planter. So I went back, and luckily it was still there. I shared this on Instagram, and somebody said that it looked like a little person, and it totally does. Um, if you grew up in the 80s, you'll remember the little people, um, the little toys. And, I mean, now I don't think anybody would give them to their kids because they would be a choking hazard. But, you know, his, it looks exactly like it with the larger head and then the like cylindrical body. But anyways, this was $16.99, I think, at, at home. And then that's the Sansevieria that I got from the plant swap. Um, let's see. Oh, I got a ton of jade cuttings from the plant swap. But I've never had a jade, like a traditional jade plant. And I wanted to try it. And I was going to try and find some cuttings from my grandmother. But it just so worked out that somebody brought a ton of jade cuttings. So when I got called up, I ended up getting like three or four of them. And I got them potted in here. So they were already partially calloused over. I dipped them in rooting hormone and then I just potted them in here. And I'm going to keep the soil slightly moist. Whenever I'm doing something like this where it doesn't have roots yet, I try and keep it lightly moist at the top to kind of develop the roots because there's no sense in watering it deep. The bottom will just sit there. And then this pot, my husband got me for Easter. And one of the other plants I'm going to show you in this haul has a matching pot of a larger size. Okay, now the other plant I swapped for is on my window, so I'm just going to grab it real quick. So I swapped for a Mother of Thousands, and this is a type of Kalanchoe. And right now this one's a baby. I'm going to try and tip it without knocking it over. But what will happen as it gets larger, babies will grow at the tip of all these leaves and eventually will fall off into the soil and propagate themselves. But I just think this is so cool. I saw one of these at a plant shop last summer and passed it up, and then I was regretting it. And then when I found one there, it was kind of just like meant to be. So we've got this little guy here. And then, of course, like I mentioned, I had to buy two plants because they were just so unusual. Now, I only know what one of them is for sure right now. The other one, I have an idea. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one I know, and this is called a pickle plant. And I'm guessing because it kind of looks like a pickle with the color variations. And I've just got this one in a pot that I picked up at a yard sale. 
This guy I paid, I want to say $14 for, I think, which I thought was, you know, very good for a plant that you don't often see. This is the only time I've ever seen one in person. I have seen them on the internet before. And then the other plant I picked up is, I'm leaning towards a stapelia. I'm not positive. So if anybody out there is watching and you guys know for sure what this is, let me know. I'm just gonna kind of come in close so you can see it a little better. And this one was $12. And this pot is also one that I picked up at yard sales. And I showed this pot in my last Townwide yard sale haul video. So if you were watching that, you saw a sneak peek at this guy. And I'm keeping these on my cacti windowsill. It's actually right to the side of me here. And it gets uh, like a southeastern exposure. So it gets the bright morning sun. And then it's got sun pretty much all day. And they're right up against the windowsill, all the cacti. So basically in the summer, this growing season, I water them once a week because they're all in small pots and they're all in terracotta. So the water leaches out quicker. Um, when it gets to be towards the end of September, I usually move them to the basement to give them a little bit of a chilling period and I won't water them again from September through March. When I bring them back up, then I'll do a light watering for the first few times and then I'll get into the full swing of doing it every week. And I mean, so far that works great for me um, with the situation I have. But I mean, if you have a different one, you might want to research because I don't want you to kill your plants by following my advice. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys some plants that I picked up and I have not done a plant video in probably over a month, like a plant haul. So, I mean, it's going to seem like I have a ton and I do, I have a ton of plants. It's like, it's starting to get to the point where I have to kind of do like a one in one out or figure out more space. Cause I don't want to have like a cluttered house either, but I came across some kind of like wish list plants. And then I came across some planters that made me want to try things. So this first one is one of those. I came across this planter at TJ Maxx and I had been toying with the idea of trying an orchid, but when I saw this cute pot, I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So this pot was only $3.99 and this is one of those ones you could hang on a wall, but for me, none of my walls are at the right orientation to a window. So I just set this on a wooden stand. And then this was an orchid I found at ShopRite and they were called mini orchids. So... I mean, I guess maybe they stay smaller. I don't know, but it is actually growing a new leaf down in the center here. And this one was kind of an experiment for me because I've never grown an orchid before. So I have this potted up in just orchid bark and I, once a week, I pour water over it so that it runs through, give it a chance to dry off. And then I just put it back in its spot. And sometimes I'll mist it for humidity. I know that it doesn't create humidity a ton. I know there's big um, debates about that, but I like to tend to my plants. So as long as it's a plant that can stand being misted and it's not going to be harmful, I do that. So this next plant is like one of my wish list plants. I was stalking cuttings of it on eBay and the cuttings go, they were going anywhere from like 20 to maybe 45 and a lot of them weren't even rooted yet. So I found this Peruvian apple cactus. And I found this at Walmart. Sometimes I go there on my lunch break to kind of just de-stress and see what new plants they have. And when I found this guy, I didn't have cash on me that day. So I had to wait and come back. And by the time I came back, one of them had already been sold. But this guy was still there. And this is actually only half the plant. There were two of these. So I separated them. And I have this one that's going to stay here on my windowsill in my house. And then the second half is going to go on my back porch for summer. It's also in the same orientation of uh, the sunlight, so it gets the bright sun, but it's also got a roof, so it's not going to burn the plants. It tended to do really good last year with the cacti, so I've got half of it for out there, half for inside, and it was only like $17 at Walmart for the huge planter with two of these guys, where online, one like this, it wasn't even rude, it would have been like 40 something so I mean, I was really excited. Okay, so this next one is that other pot I was telling you about, the terracotta one that goes with the one my husband got me for Easter. And I know you're thinking right now, this just looks like a pot full of dirt, cause it kind of is. But I have a caladium bulb in here and I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture on the screen because it's kind of crazy looking. So I had a Walmart gift card and I saw these and I was just so tempted to see if anything would happen. So. I don't know, I want to say like two weeks ago maybe I planted this. 
and I'm gonna kind of just see what happens. So I don't know, wish me luck. The, the bulb itself said that it could grow up to five feet tall and outside I think that it enjoys some shade. So those are all the ones that are small that I can show you. I have a couple hanging and one other large one that's gonna go on my porch. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys around the house now and show you the, I think it's three. I think the last three plants. Okay, so it turns out I have one more potted plant to show you guys. This I found at Walmart also. It was also around like 14 or $15. This one's called a dogtail cactus and it came in a hanging basket. I went ahead and just put it in terracotta. This I'm also gonna move outside on my porch. And you can see since I've gotten it, some of these branches are having roots on them. So, I mean, I don't really know. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of neat and unusual. So I've got him right now in this bright window, but he'll go outside. The other one I wanted to show you is this Hoya. I picked this guy up at Lowe's. They had a whole bunch of Hoyas in. They had some of the ones, I don't, I don't know the official name. They're either like the... They have like the variegation on them, the white and the pinkish and the green, but I don't love that one. This one I saw and I thought was so cute. Now this is called a Hoya Billabada, and then it's got another name, which I will pop on the screen. It's like DS70 something, but I just liked this. It's got some tiny leaves. It already had a lot of nice vines, and then I just put this. This is actually a Ray Dunn planter that I turned backwards. The Ray Dunn planters that they have at TJ Maxx are actually really nice. They come with the drainage hole already drilled and they've got the twine. They've just got a nice shape. I just didn't want to see the words. I thought it would detract from all the greenery. So I just turned it backwards. And you can see that's where I've got all the cacti and that jade. He's just sitting there for now. He's going to be going out on the porch too, I think. So let me take you guys to the living room now and show you. This is the other one I wanted to show you guys. This is a bird of paradise and I've wanted one of these to go outside for a while. Right now it's just sitting in the corner of my living room. I probably bought this like a month and a half ago and I don't, I like it here in the corner but I don't love it. It's more of an outdoor tropical plant but for now I'm going to keep it in here. I think I got about a week more before I can start taking things out. And that's also where I'm keeping that bulb so that it stays warm. And then the last guy I want to show you is this, and I'm going to talk a little bit loud so you can hear me over the bathroom fan. This is a string of raindrops. And my mom got me this for Easter. And I just have it hanging here in my bathroom window next to the string of bananas. And with these guys, I water them a little differently. I, Whenever I've repotted them, I've always noticed they don't have root systems that go down far. They kind of just stay close to the surface. So I don't water these super deep. I only water them so like the top few inches will get wet because I have read that they're easy to kill. So hopefully they will do good here in this light and okay with that watering because I really want this guy to do good. You can see it's kind of like the string of pearls. They just seem a little bit bigger and a little more oblong. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video and kind of checking out what I picked up at the plant swap and then at places like Home Depot and Walmart. There are so many good plants out there right now. So if you are into plants, make sure you check your local Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. They're all getting some really nice things in. And if you guys find a plant swap in your area, I would strongly encourage you to go. This was so much fun. It was like an afternoon spent with like-minded people. We all enjoy the same thing and it's just fun to kind of see what everyone else has and bring home some new stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.